The Arbalest, also Arbalest, was a late variation of the crossbow coming into use in Europe during the 12th century. A large weapon, the Arbalest had a steel prod bow. Wait, so this is based on a crossbow? Welcome to another bow review, Guardians. I know you may be thinking, Solar, why do you keep making gun reviews if all you ever talk about is bows? And the reason is, I hope one day to make so many bow reviews that the gods of string tension will look upon me and decide that I am finally worthy enough to shoot an arrow straight through the heart of the most evil, debilitating forces in the universe. The copyright lawmakers. The Arbalest is the second linear fusion rifle to be playable in the primary slot regardless of what the game says. It fires exclusively kinetic bullets even though it's a fusion rifle. I mean, I don't really know what it shoots, I don't know, maybe a piece of paper folded more than seven times. It doesn't matter because the fact is it doesn't require heavy ammo and that makes it infinitely more useful than everything else. Step aside, Queen Breaker's bow, step aside, sleeper simulant. Y'all ain't got shit on this baby. Arbalest is the single best fusion rifle in the game. I mean, it can kill anything. A guardian, an enemy, your KD ratio, anything. According to the infinite source of knowledge Wikipedia, a skilled Arbalest user can fire up to two shots a minute and despite hundreds of years of modifications, obviously not much has changed since then. And if you were a fan of Nolan and Beyond, you'll be even more of a fan of this thing. Not only do you just get one shot before being wasted by hand cannons, but you also have to wait for your gun to fire. And they just turn Nolan and Beyond side sideways for Arbalists. So uh, that's a nice little throwback. Unfortunately, now we can actually see through it. So as you can probably tell, this exotic was designed for the most casual players. When I tried to get gameplay for the gun, I was surprised by how easy, adaptable, and competitive this linear fusion really was. The flaming toaster can finally be dethroned as a ridiculous one-shot weapon, because now, even though I can't get kills with it, we have a high-skill weapon that can probably maybe compete in some specific instances on occasion. If you're playing on the best class, I suggest running this exotic with Gemini Jester, because even if you can't get the kill while they're disoriented, at least it'll seem like you meant to look like a clown. If you're running any other class, I'm not sorry about the skip grenades. Now, how do you get Arbalest? All you have to do is complete a set of triumphs during the revelry that generally require you to go into the disappointing stepchild of a DLC and play through the infinite forest. If you think this looks familiar to the spooky forest from Festival of the Lost, well you're wrong. As a matter of fact, this one is actually less interesting. In PvE, Arbalest is pretty solid for boss and yellow bar damage because of its ridiculous precision damage and perks. The linear fusion does substantial damage on its own, and if a shield is broken, that enemy takes additional damage as well as anyone else you shoot immediately afterwards. The lore talks seem to be between Shax and the Drifter, who, like many unemployed Trials carry teams, think the original version was infinitely better while being hated by everyone else. As far as I can tell, I can see this gun becoming mainstream, sort of like how Nolan did. It can be really good, but only if the user has nothing better to do than flaunt his skill with it to his three viewers every weekend. Now, if you listen closely, you'll hear the faint sound of a Dave & Buster's arcade with every reload. This is because the Arbalest was initially designed during the Dark Age. The Dark Age. So as you can see, the Arbalest has its perks, and it has its flaws. It does an incredible job of murdering anything it touches, but it does not fire arrows. It's a primary linear fusion, but it doesn't have auto-aim. So is this thing worth the quest to get? Is it worth all the hours of rounds that you spent trying to get this weapon when you really just needed to kill bosses? Well, I give it a 3.5. Is it out of 5? Is it out of 10? None of us know. Check out my second YouTube channel for any of the content that I had to delete in order to get remonetized. Thanks for watching.